Let's do another chord progression. This is uh, a one, six, four, five. So the sixth note in a C major scale is A. And A is gonna be a minor chord because if we played A major, you'd have a C sharp in that chord, which C sharp does not fit into the key of C major very well because C, C sharp, I guess it'd be a, a flatted second. So that normally doesn't fit into the scale. It could, but not as well as A minor, because A minor has a C. When we flat the third of A minor, we get that C note. So this is what it sounds like with the progression. The one, four, or a six, and the four, and the five. One, six, four, five. And that brings us back to the one or wherever else you want to go. It, you could go one, six, four, Sounds pretty cool. So C and A minor are considered relative. A minor is like the relative minor of C major. And they're pretty similar. C major, A minor. If you practice playing a C major chord to A minor, you might realize that the ring finger, the difference is the ring finger is here on C major, on the C note, and you got an open G. Now we're going to take away that C note and create an A note on the third string, second fret. So the difference between those two chords is like this G, A, which you could use that as maybe a, a vocal melody like ah. Uh, Rise and shine. Uh, <laughs> oh, G A. Cool. So that's a one six four five. If you did it in bar chords. Adds up the neck, uh, so that's pretty cool, man. You, this is something you want to be able to identify by ear. You know, it's a very, very common chord progression. It's very cool that you're learning it. Is kind of what I'm mumbling about uh, because once you realize what this is, it's you'll hear it pretty. Uh, it's pretty common. That's all I'm saying. And uh, if you can identify it, then you can jump in and just play it. Yeah, work on the one, six, four, five if you want to. All right. Have a good day.